Hey, so if you're a person who has Sigwin installed and wants to start a uh, command line anywhere, you know, like you can shift right click in Windows in, a, in Explorer and then open command window here. This is nice. You want that with Sigwin. Alas, uh, how do you do it? Well, it's easy. Just launch Sigwin and then in here you write the following. C here, space dash I, space dash T, space mint ty and then it doesn't work so you have to go back to your setup just run it run it you have to install some more uh, install from internet yeah same directory wherever just keep going use whatever mirror and then you have to actually install this package manually see here you search for it and then from pending you switch to, I guess, not installed, and then you filter by C here, and uh, there it is. And oh my goodness, this user interface. All right, you just continue next, and then you just install it. Yeah, no, thank you, no. All right, once that is done, you should be able to just run it. Shell defaulting to bash, access is denied, hive not writable, oh my goodness. Okay, so we close Sigwin again. And now we launch Sigwin, right click, more, run as administrator. And yes, and now we finally, yes, we finally can run it. Wow. All right, what, what do we do if we right click here? Bash prompt here. All right, we don't even have to shift click. And if we right click on a folder, bash prompt here, we are inside of lib. And if we bash prompt in here, we are inside of sane back ends. Okay, okay, okay. So that's how it goes. Remember, you need to install the C here package, then you have to run Sigwin as admin, and then you just run this command. You can find the command in the description of this video. Knock yourself out, have fun, not wasting so much time anymore. See you next time. Ciao.